Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain you how we can use the sum function in Power Apps. So in my previous video, I have already explained you like how we can fetch the distinct value. So this is the data table you can see in my screen. And this is the gallery. So in the data table, I am displaying the SharePoint list data. And in this gallery, I am just uh, fetching the distinct value uh, by using this class column. So now let's suppose if I want to uh, sum the amount which is uh, on the basis of the distinct class. So how we can achieve this? So let's go and create a screen. So let me just quickly create a du duplicate screen. Okay. So uh, this is my gallery. So you can see like I, I was using uh, this distinct function to fetch out the distinct uh, value from this class column. So let's suppose if I want to fetch the amount, what is the total amount of class one, class two and class three. So how we can achieve this? So let me just take a label okay so now what we need to do so first we need to filter out the value so how we can do that let's see so okay so let me first show you the sum function so see this is the sum function in the sum function it expect only uh, number values okay so i can see like one one so now you can see this two, one plus one is two. If I write one, two, then three. The same way, how we can achieve this. So what we need to do, let me just write this sum function. Inside this sum function, what we need to do, we need to filter out the data. So filter, filter function we use to filter out the data on the basis of some condition. So this is the filter and here we need to add a condition. So now we want to fetch the value and on the basis of this class column, like I want to fetch uh, the value where we have a, a class one, class two and class three. So what we need to do, we need to mention the first column name so class is a choice column so that's why i'm using class dot value and then equal so now you can see this is the gallery so in this gallery we already showing the distinct value so what we need to do either you can take this uh, title three underscore one dot txt or you can simply just copy this and now you just need to paste it here this item dot value dot value here yeah, what you need to do you need to just write the amount so now you can see C1, 123, 123 becomes 246, 2 and 2, 123, 3 and 3, 100 plus 100 is 200. So that's how we can uh, use the sum function. And it is very beneficial when we want to showcase some report and some analysis data in our Power Apps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. See you later.